what's up next is I'm getting ready to assemble my own Aimpoint Pro. And I guess it's kind of a tradition that when you work at Aimpoint, which I'm not an employee, but they are a sponsor of the show, you have to build your own Aimpoint site. And I gotta get in a complete blue suit with the hairnet and the whole nine yards in the clean room. Should be really cool. You want gravy with your meatloaf? <laughs> cool. He's in the process of bringing parts from where they're taken out of inventory, cleaned and sanitized, and then they're brought through into the clean room. And we're ready to start our process of assembling a site. So, uh, to begin with, we have three big parts. Mm -hmm. We have the inner tube, we have the house, and the rear tube, built uh, individual. And on this little island here, and then we have uh, four lines that we assemble the inner tube with the house. And it's four lines deep like that? Four lines. We can build a Comp-M4, we can build a Micro. Every detail has its own barcode and uh, it's uh, registered. If we receive a site back, you can have a serial number, you can see uh, which date the article re was uh, receiving inspection protocol, etc. So, fully traceable. Good deal. We'll have, have to use this for ESD protection. When we're uh, handling with the LED, it could be a little sensitive for electrostatic. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Send me in, coach. I'm ready to play. So here's the in tube, and uh, this is where we're going to assemble the, the ball ring. Yeah, for adjustments? Yeah, exactly. So. Okay. Grease that where this ring sets into so it can slide freely. It moves, which is a good thing. So this will guide the ball bearing into the slot. Carefully remove it. Good to go. Excellent. The second thing on this station is the battery house. And we have this tool here. So we take the glue, put a Loctite 480, tighten it again. All right. And then I check it with the yeah. micrometer. Right there. Look at that. Yeah, 200 away from Spot me. on. Okay. So this is ready for the next step. This is ready. Let's start with the inner tube. On this area here, mm -hmm. we're gonna put on a little strip. Go all the way around, like that. We have a little tool here. Place the strip. Place the strip over the... <laughs> That's slick. So, done. Your turn. All right, man. Awesome. Now I take this really slick little tool and then kind of cinch it down and then let roll it around. I'm ready to move on to the next station. So after the strip, the lens goes in. This is the front lens. And actually the lens is two lenses glued together mm -hmm. and the mirror coating in between. Yeah. And it's tilted at an angle, and that's how it projects the red dot on it. So Patrol rifle optic coming together. This guy here is kicking ass. Yeah, he's doing a good job. You're doing a great job too, sir. Thank you very much. So far. <laughs> so we're gonna glue the uh, rear tube and inner tube with some uh, UV glue. And we have a UV oven, and the UV glue is good because it can uh, withhold uh, high and low temperature. I'm a little bit nervous in the service about this, to be quite honest with you, because I can tell this cat here has done it a few times, and I'm worried about getting glue on the lenses. So this is the rear lens first. A little bit too much. What do you think? That's oh, actually quite good. Whoa. Look can you guy. believe that? That's the LAV bringing it home. Goes into the UV oven. Place the inner tube in the fixture. Make it as beautiful as possible. Kind of tough. All right. I'm about ready to put the diode on the inner tube. This is what projects the red dot onto the lens that you can then see with your naked eye and zero your gun and hit the target with. A very critical operation, needless to say. 
Dude, this is a lot harder than I thought. That good? Yeah. Looking good? Yeah. Okay. How's that look? Does it look okay? Yep. So now, now we have a complete inner tube. Well done. Good deal. What I thought was the coolest thing so far assembling the aim point was putting the diode in and figuring out how it projects against the lens. What they do, they calibrate it to where it has absolute bare minimum parallax. They have five holes across the front of this plate that projects five dots and then they correlate them or bring them together at infinity. And what he told me was back in the day when he first started here, they used to actually kind of eyeball this at a great distance and now they calibrate it on a machine where it's much more parallax free than it is for your human eye looking through it. And like what I tell my students in my training classes is, always try to keep the dot in the center 50% field of view like you're looking through the donut hole. From what my experience when shooters get in different positions with the long gun, where they're gonna see parallax come in is if the dot starts getting out into the edges or the donut ring essentially of your field of view. And he confirmed that. He said that was a good way to look at it. So verifies what I've been teaching all these years is correct. Time to assemble in a tube in the house. And now carefully see the spring tension and it's pointed towards the battery box and your elevation and windage comes in through the sides. There was some real technique involved. Good. All right so this is officially the end of part one of assembling the site. Tomorrow we'll put it together and it'll be a completed Aimpoint Pro. Hey thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe click here and to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.